All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the whole Matthew Kachuk, Jonathan Huberto trade. And we've made a couple of videos now talking about Matthew Kachuk and delving into that side of the story. So I decided to flip the script and now talk about the other big counterpart in this trade, and that being Jonathan Huberto. Now, we're not going to be talking about what Jonathan Huberto is going to be doing on the Flames next year as a player. What I wanted to talk about is, more specifically, what's going to be happening in free agency next year. Because as we all know, Jonathan Huberto is a UFA next year. His team-friendly deal at $5.9 million expires. And as a result, I feel like we could potentially see something unfold very similar to what has happened just this past couple of weeks with Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Kachuk. We're going to get into all of that and why I feel a possible destination for Jonathan Huberto would be the Montreal Canadiens. So yeah, that's going to be what today's video is all about. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the recent videos. It means so much to me. We've gained over 50 subscribers in the past 12 days. And I'm looking to just keep growing this fandom. So make sure you go ahead and do that down below. And for question of the day, let me know in the comment section for who you think will be acquiring Jonathan Huberto next offseason. Will the Flames be able to keep him and re-sign him? Will he go to the Montreal Canadiens or will he go to some other team that you guys have in mind? Let me know down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's actually get right into today's video. So I think this is a really interesting topic because as we all know, the Montreal Canadiens had a horrible season last year, almost finishing bottom of the league. And I feel like next year, they're going to be a lot more competitive. As we all know, they've actually gotten their lineup not terrible. I'm looking at it right now and you can see the guys that they've acquired, guys like Dadanov and Kirby Doc. And even with guys like Slavkovsky, who are going to be joining the lineup next year, I think that Slavkovsky is going to be playing a full season. We could be seeing a much better Canadians team than last year, which, I mean, it's not asking for much. I mean, they were at rock bottom, but, I mean, it does prove that they are on the right path. And I feel like if they do want to be on the right trajectory, I would assume the Canadians would be an actual competitive team by the time the 2023-2024 season hits. And, you know, no better way to be on that trajectory and get to the next step than to acquire a guy like Jonathan Huberto in next year's free agency. Now, I am aware that Jonathan Huberto has stated before in a press interview with the Flames that he is open to signing a long term deal in Calgary. But come on, man. How are you going to trust that information when you have Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Kachuk who have literally said the exact same thing? And look at where they are now. I mean, of course he's going to say that on his new team. Of course he's going to want the media and the fans to like him. And no better way for them to like him off the bat than to say that he's committed to being a player here long term. I mean, you have Matthew Kachuk, who literally stated that he wanted to be a Calgary Flame for the rest of his career a couple of weeks before he was dealt. So I don't know how Flames fans and people around the NHL are actually trusting this information because at the end of the day once free agency hits this guy can go wherever he wants no questions asked and i mean we saw what happened to johnny gaudreau he just dipped so flames fans i know he said that you know he would be open to signing a long-term deal here but i mean obviously he's gonna say that so take that with a little bit of a grain of salt Keep in mind, I think it's really interesting to note that Jonathan Huberto has admitted multiple times that he would like to play for the Canadians one day. And I mean, he's going to have the opportunity to choose that destination next season. The Montreal Canadiens, as I said, are looking to become a competitive team, likely by the 2023-24 season, and will spend this upcoming season, you know, not trying to be as competitive as I'm sure most fans would want but rather take this time to maximize the development of their young players like Slavkovsky, like Suzuki, like Caulfield to be ready for that next step. Mark D'Amico mentions on Twitter that this is a very similar setup that the New York Rangers had a couple of seasons ago when they were building up their prospect pool to finally be competitive and pursue a guy like Artemi Panarin in the summer of 2019. At the time, the Rangers had a very deep prospect pool after amassing a wide array of first-round picks and having just won the lottery to select Capo Caco second overall in the 2019 NHL Draft. They also had top players entering their prime like Mika Zibanejad, Ryan Strom, and Chris Kreider to count on to bridge the age gap and had quite a few expiring contracts coming off the book simultaneously. D'Amico mentions that it was the perfect storm and the signing of Panarin helped the team significantly advance the rebuild timeline as Gordon had zoned in on a player that was interested in playing in his market and he did everything he could to sign him. 
as we can see here, the Canadians are in a really similar situation as obviously they have a pretty deep prospect pool. They just got the first overall pick and acquired Dry Slavkovsky. They have a plethora of contracts coming off the books next season in Jonathan Druen, Paul Byron, Evgeny Dadnov, and Jake Allen all while having key pieces already in place like Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield on the main roster. If the Canadians can add another top 10 pick in the 2023 NHL Draft, along with wherever the Florida Panthers first round falls, the Canadians could be set in terms of their future, thereby allowing them to go for big game hunting in the summer. So I mean, take that information any way that you want, but I really think this really sets up the stage for Jonathan Huberto to the Montreal Canadiens. It's just a theory, but I mean, a lot of dots are connecting and the timeline is right. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As we all know, for question of the day, where do you think Jonathan Huberto will be ending up next season? Will he resign with the Flames or will he go to the Montreal Canadiens? I really think those are the top two destinations for him as of right now. But obviously things will change and we'll make a ton of more videos on this topic as I'm sure other stories will be releasing very shortly. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think about the video. And I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.